Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I want to talk about the link between risk management and strategic planning. Now recently I've seen a lot of articles and a lot of publications about improving that link and making sure that risk management is an integral part of strategic planning. Now I think this is an absolutely amazing, um, amazing initiative. What I also think is that risk management is so much more than just a strategic tool for the senior management. I actually believe risk management is a decision-making tool at any level. The only real difference is that the tools that you use for strategic decisions, they usually cost a lot more money and you usually have a lot more structure and time to prepare for those decisions. Uh, so the tools that you would use usually use at least decision trees, maybe scenarios, and most definitely should be using Monte Carlo simulations to test different options, alternatives, and, uh, and scenarios and definitely validate the management assumptions that they are using for those strategic decisions. So it is a wonderful, wonderful tool for strategic planning. But what I also think is that this is, th th this, I mean the risk management, is as valuable at all the other levels within the organization, at all the other decisions, no matter how small the decisions are. I mean, uh, you know, production forecasting or even procurement or um, getting a better credit rating uh, or any or getting new financing loans or you know lending or uh, lending money to your subsidiaries all, all of those day-to-day -day decisions uh, I'm not even talking about investment decisions because they are they're usually quite big as well um, all of those decisions can equally benefit from risk management the only real difference is that the, the set of tools that you will be using for each one the principles are always the same you try and before making any kind of decision if the decision is significant, if it costs a significant amount of money, if there is a reputation at stake, if there is a high level of uncertainty, then risk management should be present no matter how strategic that decision is. Uh, as I mentioned, the only difference are the tools and the time that you apply to risk management. So, for example, in procurement, the most common approach is to use a scoring uh, methodology where you would allocate different risk levels to different uh, purchases or different suppliers and you would make then decisions based on those uh, on those risk scores. For investment decision making you would either use um, sensitivity analysis or Monte Carlo simulation. For strategic decisions you would obviously use Monte Carlo simulation or decision trees. For other uh, decisions you would use decision trees and probably some other some other tools as well. So I don't really I don't want anyone to get an, an impression that risk management is the prerogative for senior management and it, it is just a strategic decision-making tool. Uh, it, it really is a wonderful tool for our day-to-day -day life. I mean, I think about risks when, it, when I even make some basic you know, domestic decisions uh, because it's such a wonderful tool and it helps us overcome it. Basically, it's a tool designed to switch on system two thinking that Daniel Kahneman writes about in his book um, and uh, avoid all the cognitive biases that we would normally fall into. So it's a wonderful tool for any kind of decision making. Don't limit it to just strategic discussions once or twice or three or four times a year. Um, as the risk managers, our job is to A, change the culture of the organization to make people familiar and confident about understanding and taking risks because that's what business is all about and second integrating into every single process that has uncertainty associated with it so that risks can be taken into account sometimes it will take five minutes to think about risks when making an operational decision sometimes it may take a week uh, but the principles are as i said exactly the same i'm interested in hearing your thoughts and it started raining um, so thank you and goodbye.